the stuff you're doing with Daniel getting the line quick and, and you're in his ear, like what are the benefits of that? Um, what, are you, what are you saying to him? Just to provide some insight in that process. Sure. Um, so that was you know, part of the game plan for that week. Um, to come in, kind of play on the ball, and um, talk to him, get him into the right, get us into the right play, play with some tempo, and then just kind of bouncing out of some tempos, whether we're huddling up or on the ball, and um, you know, checking some plays at the line of scrimmage. Mike, the Lions can score. Uh, how aware are you of what I guess they have on the opposite side of the ball, and then what kind of pressure does that put on you guys? Because you haven't really been down in a game, fourteen nothing or whatnot, where you've had to. You know, win a shootout, open it up, that kind of thing. If what what happens if the Lions score and it, it breaks your normal game plan? Yeah, those are the, those are the adjustments that you have to be prepared for. Uh, we talk about them as a staff, and um, those are things that you have to be ready for in game to make adjustments on. And I think our guys have done a good job of doing that throughout the season. Why do you think the, the Lions seem to have some some talent on defense? What, 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 when you look at them, are you surprised they've struggled this much statistically? They do a great job up front. I mean, they have some good pass rushers, really at all three levels. Those guys do a really good job. They got some skill in the back end that can cover, and they're going to challenge you at the line of scrimmage. So, you know, we got to be prepared for a variety of things, the pass rush, the variety of pressures, um, you know, winning our one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter. So there's, there's definitely a big-time test that we got to be prepared for, and that's what we're going through throughout the week is pr practicing against those, those type of situations, against those defenses, and then, um, going out and putting our, putting our best foot forward to go out and execute. What Mike, do what do you see specifically in Hutchinson? <clears throat> Excuse me? What do you see specifically in Hutchinson there? Yeah. He's, he's a talented player. I actually had an opportunity in the draft process to take a peek at him um, and, and look at him and his skill set on, on the edge. He does a good job inside as well. He's, uh, he's physical. He has, he has a motor. Uh, he does a really good job in that defense, and they use him appropriately. You're an offensive, offensive guy. You're an offensive guy. Why, I'm curious. Why did you get a chance to? Why did you look at him? Yeah, you know, I always kind of take a peek at the top defensive guys coming out. You know, for, through the first few rounds, just just to kind of know the skill sets and what's out there, and um, you know, just the players around the league. It's just kind of cool to kind of <coughs> see that side of it. How have you seen Hutchinson kind of grow and evolve in his games in the league so far? Say that again. How have you seen Hutchinson grow and evolve uh, now that you're watching tape after a couple NFL games? Sure. Yeah. No. He's he's doing a great job. You can tell. You know. He's 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 playing savvy. He's got some um, some savviness to him on the perimeter, and then you see him make plays on the ball. You know, those couple against um, in the red zone, making a play on the ball, getting his hands up, getting an interception. Um, so he you know, he does a good job. I mean, he really does. He's he's a smart football player. And no surprise why he was, you know, a high draft pick. Mike, when Daniel, Daniel, Daniel is playing as well as he is, is there a temptation to give him more and open things up more? I mean, obviously you have Saquon, but is there a temptation to say, hey, let's see, see if, if he can do even more than we did Yeah, you asked? every week we go, we go through that in the game plan with the staff. We go through the run game, the drop back game, the pass game, movement, screens, and see how we can, you know, put our guys in a good spot to, to execute against the defense and then, you got to go and match up what the defense does, and how, what they do, what they do really well, and what they do, um, you know, maybe not so well. So you always you're kind of battling between strengths and weaknesses, and making sure your guys are in the right spot. So you know, we evaluate that, and um, now that's where we're at right now. You know, this, in this week in practice. Is there a part of you that expects one of these days you're going to see him in a shootout? That that's going to have to be asked of him to. Yeah, to win we, a game? we prepare for that each week. You know, we we talk about. Um, all those scenarios in the past game, talk about their top coverages, their top pressures, um, talk about with how, how they you know, how they fit runs and how they're going to you know, react to certain motions and shifts and stuff like that. So all that stuff has to be accounted for, and especially when you're thinking about drop, dropping back. You know, we, we go through our walkthroughs and we, we detail it up with the coaches and the receivers and the tight ends and running backs, all those little things. For the past game. And just, like, I'm sorry, just one <clears throat> last thing. Sure. So you watched, I'm sure you watched lots of video of him before you got here. How would you compare what he's doing now to that video you saw in those first three years? Yeah, I think, I think, he's, doing, I think he's doing a really good job for us right now. Um, he's executing the offense. Um, he's coming in early. He's watching a bunch of tape. He's putting in all the work, which was no surprise, you know, and he's been like that since the day I got here. So um, I'm happy where he's at. I think you know where we're at right now this week in practice, getting ready for our third down and our red zone installs. 
Um, you know, he's he's we just had a great walkthrough, um, great communication with with all those guys. So he's doing he's doing a great job. So like, what you call dropbacks a lot of times has been like third and long, like hard situations to succeed. Yeah. A, why you've been able to, and B, does that success maybe make you more inclined to you know maybe first second downward maybe a little more favorable? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. You know, I, those third and longs, those are tough to convert. You know, find like we talked about before. Um, before the buy, you know, doing a better job on first and second downs so or not in those third and extra longs. And then um, as far as the first and second down passing stuff, you know, you really got to, as, as we're working through the game plan, what, what, the, what the defense is presenting, you know, that's what makes you kind of make decisions on running pass and actions and what you've shown in the past and building complimentary looks off of those. Like, why, do you think he's, more? why do you think he's been so successful in those third and longs? Excuse, excuse me? Why do you think he's been able to be so successful? Like, what do you see that... Yeah, it's just, it's just the execution part of it. Those guys are, are getting open. We have great protection up front. Daniel's done a good job of staying on time and in rhythm with his feet. And then when it's not there, stepping up and making plays with his legs. Um, I've been proud of him for doing that and, and, and the guys separating and working in voids. Like it, those, are, those are tough situations. Everyone in the building knows you're, you're dropping back and throwing it. So now, you know, guys got to step up and execute even more. Mike, what do you see in, in Kenny Galladay's struggles? And do you see a guy that's pressing? And how do you handle that with him, you know, yeah. in terms, without giving up any specific stuff that you yeah. guys talk about? Yeah, Kenny's, Kenny's been a pro. He comes to work every single day. Um, this week's no different. Yesterday was no different. He came up and, and had a great day of work. So I think it's one of those things you just you, you fight through it. And, you know, we tell our guys all the time that, you know, have a quick memory about you know whether it's good, bad, dealing with adversity, you know, you learn from it, you flush it, and you move on. Mike, you Mike still in Detroit, he, he was obviously, it's been a few years, I'm sure you saw him back then, he was a dominant player at times. He's not that, doesn't look like that same player anymore. Do you think injuries and age have just taken their toll, or do you think that that player could still be inside him? No, I think Kenny Galladay is a, a really good football player. Like I said, he comes to work every day prepared. Um, he goes through the process, while studying the tape, studying the opponent, putting the work in on the field and trying to detail his techniques and fundamentals. And, um, you know, this week's no different. Mike, off the last one. Off the two turnovers forced by your defense, why, do you, why did you not, why were you not able as an offense to finish and put points on the board to put them away in those two drives there? Yeah, I think um, we kind of stalled out there on the fringe. So just got to do a better job with the execution, probably play calling as well, just getting our guys a chance and, um, you know, we, we evaluate those things. Sometimes, you know, just one guy being a tick off um, disrupts the play. So we got to go back, evaluate it. We're in the right spot. We're our eyes in the right spot. We're our fundamentals and techni techniques correct. Um, and then did we give ourselves a chance to execute this thing? Was the read correct? And, um, you know, all those things kind of put, um, apply to when you're talking about a play by play basis. And, you know, I think that's where we kind of stalled was in the fringe just outside of that field goal range.